guys, Nephi here with PC Turnaround. Today I wanted to show you something that most people don't even think about. Here I have an EVGA GeForce GTX 780. Now, the other day I had a friend come over and say uh, that his computer was no longer booting up. So we went through the troubleshooting steps that you should go through. We checked the power supply, everything was good with the power supply. We checked the RAM, the RAM seemed to be okay. Um, and then we got to the video card. Now this is the video card that was taken out of the computer there. While we tested everything else, we noticed there was a smell, a slight smell of something burnt. Typically you'll know what the smell is if, if you've ever burned any electronics. It's a very strong smell. So I went ahead and grabbed this graphics card here and offered to take it apart and see if there was any damage done. I went ahead and disassembled it and uh, found out a couple of things that I wanted to show you guys. Most people don't think about doing regular maintenance to their graphics cards. They think about doing maintenance to their computers, but not to a specific piece of hardware in the computer. So let's go ahead and take this card apart and, and see what happens. So to do this, I'm gonna use this Tekton um, screwdriver set. This is for small ele electronics, but it should work for this graphics card here. These four screws right here, these are the ones that hold the heat sink in place. So after we have done that, we should be able to lift this up. And as you can see there, there is the fan connector. And unplug that and before we move on to the guts of the graphics card here you can see that there is a bit of dust that's accumulated so this is one of the downsides to air cooled graphics cards you'll have all these fins that will help you cool down the system but dust can get trapped in those fins which eventually can uh, decrease how much you get this cooled by airflow. As mentioned before, most people do think about cleaning their computers, but they don't really think about taking their graphics cards apart and getting this kind of stuff cleaned out of the fins. So keep that in mind if you have a graphics card that's cooled by um, fans such as this one here. So let's we'll set this aside and take this apart. On most newer graphics cards, you will have a back plate right here. This one actually has the plate on the front, so all the screws are actually on the back here. So let's go ahead and take all of those out and see if there was any damage done to the graphics card. Let's go ahead and flip this over and get this removed. It looks like we missed one screw right here. So here is that plate and this plate helps to cool down the VRMs which are these right here. So these are all uh, 256 VRAM modules. So this is a three gigabyte uh, GDDR5 graphics card. And uh, these here are what's called, uh, they're referred to as thermal pads or some people refer to them as thermal band-aids. Uh, basically, they're made of this thermal uh, conducting material and the heat from these chips gets transferred over to this backplate, which then some of it 
gets transferred over to the heat sink here. And then the fans are able to cool down the heat sink and most of the uh, most of the heat gets exhausted out the back of the computer here. Anyways, over here on the board and on the back plate, or the front plate in this case, you can see that there is quite a bit of dust build up right here. So much so that if you wipe your finger on it, it's almost this weird um, kind of oily consistency. And the reason for that is because when you are using the, the computer, specifically when you're using the graphics card for gaming or video rendering, this gets very, very hot. And when this gets hot, if you say um, you finish gaming or you finish rendering your video, you shut the computer off right away, this is going to want to pull all the cold air towards it to cool itself down as quickly as possible. And when it does that, it will also pull in moisture from the air around it. So if you live in states or countries that are very um, humid, like say uh, Florida, or any of the uh, eastern states you may get this problem more than say if you lived somewhere hot like in California where everything is very dry so here we are in Utah and it's winter right now so it's fairly cold so uh, when this was being used it was being pushed to its limit and then the computer was immediately either not used or shut down or put to sleep which immediately brought moisture into the picture so what happened with this graphics card here as you can see here on the other side there is also some moisture around the VRAMs and these are the hottest areas on this plate so you can see that it collected quite a bit here near the thermal pads where it was extremely hot so what happened is right here in this area let me put this back plate back on right here in this specific area you can see there's a lot more dust build up than anywhere else on the plate and if we take a look at the board in that area you can see that some of the components are completely off like such as this one here this component here should not be right there it should probably be soldered right here bridging these points some of these components over here you might be able to see that there are some very small solder balls around that component those solder balls should actually be underneath this component. So what happened is one of these components got very hot. I'm guessing this one right here as it looks like it's completely fried. It got very hot. It ended up bridging some points and shorting some of these components out. These components over here also ended up getting very hot. And most likely the smell that I was describing earlier on came from these point right so essentially what happened with this was that this back plate was pulling in moisture from the environment while it was cooling down and it gathered up here on the dust particles and because this graphics card was never cleaned that moisture basically just stuck around and clinged on to the dust. The dust eventually built up so much so that it bridged points and shorted out some of the components here. So then when the computer was turned on, the electrical current that went through these components here just completely fried them. It shorted them out, it fried them, there was a puff of smoke, and 
it rendered this whole graphics card completely useless. Luckily for my friend, um, he's using an Intel motherboard and Intel processors usually have embedded uh, graphics processors, so he's still able to use his computer without a graphics card, but this graphics card is completely dead. At this point, there's basically no salvaging it. The only way to salvage it would be to manually remove some of these components and replace them with new ones uh, from another graphics card. But that is very, very unlikely to solve the issue, as frying some of these components may have also fried some of the internal traces on this motherboard. So just keep that in mind if you have an air-cooled graphics card. You do need to service these every once in a while. And some of you may be wondering, well, how do I go about servicing my graphics card? How do I make sure something like this doesn't happen to me? Well, you will need to disassemble your graphics card just as I did here. And then you will need Q-tips and rubbing alcohol. I suggest you use something like this, such as a 91% or 99% uh, rubbing alcohol. So all you would need to do is get your Q-tip, dip it in this, make sure there is not too much um, of this rubbing alcohol on it, and then just go and go through and wipe down the whole board. Um, this will not damage any of your electronics. As long as you wait for it to completely dry, this is why you'd want to use 91% or 99%. If you use 70%, then there is more water in there, and that could potentially lead to even worse problems. So use 91 or 99% as mentioned previously. This way, when you rub it all down, this will evaporate very quickly. And uh, typically it only takes a few seconds, so just rub it down. And uh, if you want to be even more careful, then I would suggest you get some compressed air dusters and after you rub it all down, blow on it with compressed air and uh, that way all of the residue can evaporate. Now over here you'll notice that there's um, this sticky paste on the uh, GPU. This is the GPU here or the graphics processing unit. This is what does all the heavy lifting. Uh, this is what renders your videos, renders the graphics in your games, renders the environments in your games, um, anything like that, that that requires complicated physics and mathematics. So in order to clean this off, uh, you do the exact same thing. You can just wipe this off with a paper towel or with a Q-tip as I'm doing here. And then to replace that, it's just the same as if you were installing a CPU on your system. So make sure to clean off all the old thermal paste. And then I would suggest you use something like this, um, Arctic MX2 or MX4. I suggest you use MX4 rather than MX2, but this is just what I have at the moment. And then you just put a bead of uh, thermal paste right there and set everything back in place. This graphics card at the moment sells for near $300. So this is going to set him back quite a way. So he's gonna have to either get something similar or something better. And uh, it, it's, it's just an unexpected expense. So just remember, if you just dust your system off, make sure to clean it off every once in a while. I would suggest you do this every maybe three to six months. You can save yourself a headache, one, hundreds of dollars, and three, having to go buy new parts and uh, build a whole new system. So just take care of your system, get some compressed air, get some rubbing alcohol, get some Q-tips, get some thermal paste, and just service your computer as if it was your car. Dust and moisture are your computer's worst enemy. And uh, 
If you just take care of those things, you can typically make sure you have a system that will run for years. That is basically all I wanted to show you guys. And uh, again, by doing something like this, you can save yourself a ton of money. You can save your system from experiencing loss of hardware or other important things such as data. And uh, hopefully you were able to learn something new today. This is Nephi with PC Turnaround. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video or didn't find it helpful in any way, shape, or form, give it a thumbs down and let me know how I can improve. Anyways, that is it for this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.